Good day, ladies and gentlemen, this is Vance Logic, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Exilia. Uh, well, after I just distributed a little bit of, uh, Leia's GP here, we're gonna be going to the mountain slide car, and now we're gonna be checking in on, uh, what was that guy's name? Jurgen. Yeah, that was his name. I'm gonna check in on Jurgen, see what's been going on with the whole getting the wyverns and talking to the king. That's quite the line. I guess this king really does listen to his people. The king of Ajul is well known for his charisma. It is said he unified this strife-torn country on the strength of his character alone. A guy like that is sure to help us. Charisma only goes so far. If his government is secretly producing children like Elise, then he must answer for it. Thank you. Sorry, we were getting antsy. No, this is actually perfect timing. Are we good to go with the wyverns? Yes, I got royal approval. And something incredible happened when I requested an audience for Mila. What is it? When I told them your names, they said His Highness was looking forward to meeting you, too. Are you all famous in Rashagal or something? Uh, um, I don't think so. Perhaps word of the tournament has reached His Highness. What a great honor for our clan. Anyway, I need to head back to Shandu to ready the wyverns. Hmm. Quite the unexpected welcome. It's not a trap, is it? I have a bad feeling about this as well. You do? It beats not getting to meet him at all. <sighs> Keeping secrets from us again? Of course. I have to maintain my mystique for the ladies. <sighs> what does he mean? They say men with secrets are attractive or something. I'm not exactly the right guy to ask. Says the kid with the mask on. Come on, let's go say hi to his highness. Alvin, we really need you to be straight with us. Don't worry. I know you've put your trust in me. Or did we? Honestly, I don't even know. Country. Gaius's castle is actually pretty modest. I think that's admirable. I don't know. Well, then again, yeah, this isn't really a big castle. From what it looks like, anyway. And there's safe points everywhere. I'm not even going to bother to use them. <laughs> The Sage Kresnik used his lance to stab a chimera so huge it blotted out the sky over Rize Maxia. When it fell to the ground, its body became the continent of Ajul. That's our creation myth, at least. A little bit of world building and whatnot. At the very least, myth building and all that whatnot. Popular folklore says that the Genesis Sage Kresnik had seven sons, and their descendants gave rise to the various clans of Ajul. Interesting. Only not really. Because I... Uh, I don't even know. Every day, King Gaius receives scores of his subjects and listens to their concerns. He truly has the same amount of passion for governance that he does for warfare. I think that's all we could talk to over here. I mean, we already talked to that guy over there, uh, that people. Yeah, th not that many NPCs to talk to. Also, there's that NPC to talk to! But I don't think I could talk to him because we gotta get that's it. Yep, of course. It's auto. Halt! Citizens seeking an audience with the king are to wait in line outside the castle. We were told the king wished an audience with us. Is one of you Lady Mila? That's me. Very well. Please proceed. I don't believe a doll is appropriate at a royal audience. I thought we might leave it here. You sure? It's okay. I'll hold that for you. Now, 
Let us meet this king. What are you doing here? I am Zhao the Immovable of the Chimeriad. The Chimeriad? Four warriors in personal service to the king. To think Zhao was a member all along. It is a great honor to meet you, former Chief of Staff Ilbert. Ah, and you are the Ebon Wing of Azul, Wingle the Nova. You must be the King of Azul. My name is Gaius, King of Azul. Welcome, Maxwell. You have requested an audience with the King, have you not? Now please, state your business. Boosters made in your country have already fallen into Rashigal hands. If a war were to break out between your nations, then the results would be catastrophic for everyone. Oh. And you came all the way here just to tell me that in person? Uh... Yes, Your Highness. We're planning to destroy one of Rashigal's weapons, a really big one at that. Once that thing's gone, we know that Rashigal's king wouldn't dare declare war on you. In fact, we hope that you might, you know, help us. Is there anything else? Yes, there is one other matter we'd like to discuss. It is in regards to the booster laboratory within the Royal Hunting Grounds. Is it true you once abducted orphans for this facility, and then you performed experiments on these children? <laughs> well, I didn't see that one coming. What does any of this have to do with you, spirit? I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect both humans and spirits alike. Really? Spirits protecting humans? Now that is quite an interesting tale. You forsook your duty as king, and then you toyed with the lives of your own people, didn't you? The laboratory is entirely my responsibility. It was a haven for those children. They would have died without it. You imagine it as a mad scientist's lab, but I assure you the experiments were entirely humane. You expect us to take your word for this? But I... I was... This girl, she was that test subject? Yes, she was. Even in Hamil, Elise was forced to live in a tiny room. Don't you consider that... Cruel? Well, uh... Yes. Tell me something, boy. Have you ever considered what it takes to achieve happiness? To achieve happiness? Yes, to try and live a satisfying life. How do you think one can achieve that? Do you even know? Well... It takes freedom to make your own decisions, and to form your own beliefs. Exactly. It takes freedom. <laughs> Well, I disagree. When a man loses his way in life, the ground beneath him starts to slowly crumble until there is nothing left. What do you mean, nothing left? A man who cannot find his way becomes trapped. The more he struggles, the deeper he sinks into uncertainty. Uh. True happiness comes from following a noble path across an entire lifetime. 
without getting lost. My country does not produce failures. It is the king's duty to show his people the proper path. I must keep them from becoming completely trapped. Now, let me tell you in no uncertain terms why I've called you here. Maxwell, I know you stole the key from the laboratory in Rashagal. Now hand it over immediately. No, I won't. The key was not meant for human hands. When faced with the power that can destroy the entire world, no human can control him or herself. It seems as though you haven't heard a thing that I just said, Spirit. Something about royal guidance and noble paths. I've heard it before. You humans never change. I've watched you for 2,000 years. All right. Then why don't you just tell us where the key is? What? Alvin! What are... What are you doing? But you can't... Alvin. Sorry, guys. I'm just doing my job. Alvin, who did Maxwell entrust the key to? The Handmaid Ivor. He's probably sulking back in Neocara as we speak. Al, what are you doing here? Hey, Pressa. Long time no see. Pressa, what is it? Ignore them. Give your report. The Rashigal army has invaded Hamil. What did you say? I'm afraid the casualties are high. Those not killed were captured. They were then sent to Rashigal. We also found evidence that the power of a great spirit was used upon the village. A great spirit? But no one has successfully summoned the four great spirits for two decades. Impossible. I would have known if the four great spirits had been released. Could it be? The Lance of Kresnik? Is it possible that Nautical has made a new key? If that's the case, then we're declaring war. Send word to all the clans. I am going to crush anyone who dares to harm my people! Well then, we will no longer have any need for the likes of you. But if His Highness were to have the Spirit Maxwell as his captive, even the unruly clans would be forced to bend their knees. <sighs> Miss Elise. T-Bone, no! <laughs> well, don't just stand there! Come on, run! <laughs> Capture Maxwell. Recover the test subject. Son of a freaking Alvin, really? Uh, troublemakers. Mission accomplished. You knew that we'd have to escape, so that's why you left Tipo with the guard. Yes, I knew that it would end up being Mila who treated with King Gaius. <laughs> and when Mila fully expresses herself, well, I figured something would happen. <laughs> I see why you were cautious. Yep, just as predicted. Oh. I know what that's called. That means Mila's a troublemaker. Hmm. Yo, Mila! Did you hear the whole thing? I can't deny the truth of your words, but there is one thing I'd like to add. By that definition, wouldn't Tipo be a troublemaker as well? Well, I guess that's... that's... What? You're not gonna defend me? She's kind of onto something there. But yeah, now this area we were just in, it's being occupied by Ajul soldiers. If you want to grind a little bit, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame you for doing so because uh, once we step out, you guys are gonna see what's gonna happen. Anyway, here's some Azul Royal Guards right here and Azul Royal Enforcers. The Enforcers are pretty much the speed ones, 
Or at the very least, the ones that attack fast and, like, can really fuck shit up. I think they're the technical type enemies that, like... At least, they're the enemies that the ideal Link partner would be Elise, and I'm going for the ones that are doing this shit. And thank you, Elise, for that. And help me steal the item. Never mind. Uh, freaking Leia. I think I might switch in Mila for this, like, next couple fights. I'm probably gonna grind a little bit because uh, I know what's coming up, and I don't want to be too ill-prepared for it. Also, I want to get rid of this beef bowl. I mean, I know I could just override it, but at the same time, I don't even know if I do have a... I don't have a spicy chicken roll. Uh, that's what I get, I suppose. I guess I'll just settle with a beef bowl. Actually, wait, how many beef bowls do I have left? None. I have no beef bowls. I need beef bowls. At the very least, I'm gonna fight for like two more bat, like three more battles, and just on to be on the safe side. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna be grinding, showing off these enemies. I mean, we've already shown the royal guards, and then there's the royal channelers. So you want to deal with the channelers first. I mean, then there's, I mean, there's the guards that can like really do a bunch of physical damage, but you don't want to be dealing with channelers. I mean, it's like they they're just all ganging up on me right here. They literally just all came to the one freaking spot. There we go, and they got lemon gels. Okay. Eh. That'll do. Alright, Leia, help me steal their lemon gels. I think we're gonna be needing them. That's what we're gonna be doing next. Oh, yeah. We're definitely gonna be needing them. <laughs> Fuck your childhood friend stuff. And Snap Pivot Neophyte. Apparently I have not been using Snap Pivot enough if I barely got the first title for it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, okay, so what was I gonna do? Shit, shit, shit. I can't remember. Uh, do I have any skills I could equip on Jude right now? Or Leia? Just those, but other than that, Mirage Assault? Not, not in particular. What about anyone else? I'll give him some Psyche. And maybe the strong arm or HP gain. Just to be on the safe side. And yeah, nothing else on anyone else. And yes, of course, Alvin betrayed us and he's not in the party. Uh, would be nice though, especially considering the Royal Guards. Was this really the only way? Getting pretty good experience right now and I almost have Rowan leveled up. I think I have just about everyone leveled up except for Leia. But then again, I did distribute some GP of hers earlier, so I don't know, she already reached level 32. Everyone else is level 32, I may as well get Rowan to level 32. 32, 32, 32. I can still do better. There we go. Never stop improving. I'm gonna have to stop improving for the next couple fights, though. Yeah, I think that'll do. Alright, that's enough grinding for me. I got everyone to level 32. Gonna distribute their GP uh, right now before we head out. May as well do that right now. Because I'm definitely going to be needing the stat boost right now. Uh, probably not for that, though. Uh, well, I'm definitely going to have to get this for Jude right now, because... Uh, actually, I think I could have gotten... There we go. Alright, so I had to waste two in order to get the Lily Morph expanded. And where's the closest art? This one, Beast. Oh, yeah, I definitely want that. But I don't want to add into Intelligence right now. I'll get to Strength. Considering that is Jude's, well, strength. You know you know what I mean. Also, I'm going to get Elise a bit more intelligence. Uh, does she have other skills? She, well, she could get Spirit 2 right now. Well, not yet, though, but you know what I mean. She has the option to get Spirit 2 right now. She can get Warrior 2. Oh, right. Wait a minute. Don't I have access to this next one right here? Wizard 2. So setting Tipo to on will reduce casting time by 40%. So, yeah. All those healing spells she has, she'll cast them 40% faster. Try to get that as soon as you possibly can. In fact, I'm going to try to do that right now. Uh, can I get SP? Yes, I can get SP. Oh, so close. I was just one node away. Fuck. I uh, don't think I need SP for Rowan right now, but at the same time, there is conservation. Can uh, consume 50% less TP, but 2-30% less damage. I, I don't need that right now. I might get him 
a little bit more vitality. <laughs> his vitality, his vitality sucks. Uh, what was this one right here? Oh, it gets him agility, but he doesn't really need agility either. At the same time, he doesn't need any of this stuff. Okay, I'll just get him some more intelligence if I can. Okay, never mind, I can't get him more <laughs> intelligence. Wait, what was this one? Shivering to- Oh, that's the art! That's the art I was thinking of before. You know, that one boss that we fought back in the Burmia Gorge? That used Shimmering Toll? Rowan can learn it. It's kind of awesome, too, because you have to use the less stick to ring the bell for further attacks. Quite one of the more uh, unique arts that Rowan has. I kind of like it. Then Aerial Jump. Uh, well... <coughs> well, Fire Guard. I'm just looking over the skills we can possibly get her in any possible arts as well. Sigil Spear. Uh, Volley of Lances. You know, I think I might get her that. And a bit more in, uh, physical, you know, strength. You know, all that whatnot. I'll get it more outward right here, and if need be, I'll get her, like, the next one later. There we go. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're set on equipment. Okay. a big fat liar. I assumed he had his reasons, but this time he took it too far. Stupid traitor, let me at him! Why would he betray us like that? I'm afraid even I can't read his mind. How could he do this to us? He better not show his face around us again. Ah, come on! Oh, then again, they don't want us escaping. This is kind of the point. It won't open. If we can reactivate the five control stones, we may be able to unlock the gate. Pour your mana into the stones until they glow red. Just like at Fort Gandala. The gate will not unlock, however, unless we all activate the stones at roughly the same time. Wait, I've never done anything like this before. Don't worry. Just use your mana as you would when casting an art. There's no time. We've only one chance. Let us begin. Uh-oh. Done. Already? I'm finished too. Same here. I did it. Come on, come on! I'm so sick of holding everyone back! Why? Why can't I do it? Mila! Leia, relax. I'm not good enough for this! Quit thinking you're inferior to anyone here. Thanks. You can do this. Let's continue. Okay. Alright, well we're out, and I think I want to switch Mila into the party right now. I don't know if I want Rowan though. Uh, probably not Leia. I think we're good without Leia right now. I know that she went through the whole thing like, I was tired of being useless and then I switch her out of the party. Oh god, the irony. I did not mean to do that though! Nobody leaves me behind at a party. Presa, was it? If you've been Gaius's henchwoman all along, then you've been after us ever since we escaped Fenmont. Al sold you out to his highness way back in Nia Kara. 
He was on your side the whole time. <laughs> Hardly. That man's no ally. Huh? <laughs> I'll leave our relationship to your imagination. All I'll say is this. Al drifts from one group to the next like a ship without a compass. Trying to plot his course is impossible. Serves you right for trusting him. It's obvious that the Lance of Kresnik is the greatest threat if war breaks out. Surely Maxwell realizes this. Your territorial squabbles are of no interest to me. My only concern is keeping that thing out of human hands and preventing a miserable end for us all. So high and mighty, it's time someone broke your arrogance. Enough! You didn't become a veteran of countless battles through meaningless bloodshed. Has your youth gotten the better of you? Don't lecture me on age, Ilbert. Your ways are old. Therefore, you falter. <sighs> and then you flee. What just happened? A sudden burst of mana. He has a booster. Why? Who are you? Elias, Saibon Punyukida, Tiyaude Sevon Priyande. What? Is that Blom Dao? Suhun Susu Maxwell. Wizun Kitiodor.